Back for game four here between Super Coopers and Hobbs. Hobbs up two games to one after losing the first contest of the night. They have uh, come back strong. Let's count the balls out there, Tom. There, there are 10 balls and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players. We've also had a defection there as Russell uh, Drumheller has moved over to Super Coopers. That he has. And again, Austin Phoenix is going to take an <laughs> uh, early seat. <laughs> He didn't like me calling no, him out. No, you called him out. Russell Drumheller. Russell Drumheller. Wow. All over the place. Andrew Showalter was very angry. He said, "You don't, you don't uh, defect from my team." And then he missed the ball. And he did. Went now right through his out. hands. So, uh, well, that leaves two people there for. Uh, Hobbs. It's like a. It's, they're like twins over there. It's like I know. synchronized. Is it Ben, Glenn, Glenn, Ben? I can't tell the difference. Ben Taylor and Glenn Dietrich. It's like they play on the team of the brothers Drumheller, and they look like brothers out there. <laughs> Maybe they're the brothers. We don't know it. Oh, oh Eric, Eric Fu. Fu. Fu, Eric Fu. Okay, you made that joke last uh, well, game. What's his part of his name that now? That wasn't funny, though. Part of his name. I mean, it's not funny anymore. Oh, it's fun. Oh, oh. Heidi, Miller. Heidi Miller takes a seat. Glenn Dietrich, good shot. Oh, Ryan Gimme. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Miss. Oh, oh Amelia barksdale Patterson. I'm just well, going to say oh and then say names. Okay. We'll oh, do Tom Boo. Oh, Ted Castro. Oh, I wish we watch these two teams play every week. This is pretty entertaining. It's like a house divided is, uh, against itself cannot fall. Well, they're falling, and we have two on two here with five and a half minutes left in game four. You're right, because the uh, thing is a house that divided against itself cannot stand. We don't have Abraham Lincoln out here, so I don't know how good he'd be at dodgeball, being all tall and lanky and whatnot. I don't know. I mean, he had fire. He had a fire. He did, but I, don't, I seem too relaxed, I'm, maybe. Let me tell you this, Tom. The qualities that make a good president make a good dodgeball player. I mean, I'm going to throw that out there. You, you take uh, it for what I'm it's worth. Off, he's a good orator, but... He's not a good I guarantee player. you, Andrew Showalter, well, not by what he's shown today, I think he'd be a good president. We'll see. And also that other guy who has a presidential name. Barack Remember Obama? Uh, he plays in this league. Oh. I mean, maybe Barack Obama does play in this league. I haven't seen him. Well, Amelia Barksdale Patterson out there by herself once again. I mean, she could be a, a good uh, presidential name. Oh. oh. Not well, sure you know, you got hats off to Amelia Barstow Parish for going after it. You know, she was going to try to put away Ben Taylor with making the catch, uh, but couldn't make it. And uh, that, that's Hobbs with the third win of the game. Matt, you're watching the Dodgeball Game of the Week. On WPOB. Well, we're back for Game 5. Hobbs versus Super Coopers. Hobbs up three games to one. Uh, strong showing here after they uh, lost the first contest. It's almost like they awoken the sleeping beast. Russell Drumheller now back on the Hobbs side there on the near court. If I was them, I'd say stay over there. We don't want you. Yeah, Russell, just yeah, get away from us. Before I'm, uh... oh, look at that. Oh. Austin Phoenix, he was very angry at me at the last game because I, I talked about how he was right. out quickly. And quickly he takes out Ben Taylor with a throw and then catches uh, the ball from uh, Russell Drumheller. So uh, I need to apologize to Austin Phoenix, but you know maybe he should thank me because it kind of lit a fire under him. He's really it playing did. with a little I mean, more, uh, a little chip on his shoulder. I mean, he's working up a sweat over there. He's working hard. He's dedicated to this. He's not taking it lightly. I mean, let's and oh, look at that catch. What a catch by oh, Austin Phoenix. Wow. He is really coming back with a vengeance. Good job. He takes out uh, Glenn Dietrich, I guess that is. And now he's uh, uh, Andrew Showalter. Yeah. It's almost as if uh, you know I, I jinxed him. I called him the best player in the league and. Uh, you know, he really has had an off night so far. Mm. Well, we'll see how he does here against uh, well, Derek five Fu members. Derek doesn't think that he is an uh, off night, because he'll be taking a seat right off of his food. <laughs> Very nice. Thank I you. like that. Thank you. One person down, four more he needs to take out of the uh, Super Cooper clan here. Don't put it past Andrew Showalter. This is the man that's been called the greatest player in the dodgeball league. By you, I think. Yes. And, I mean, I watch a lot of dodgeball. You do. So, I mean, don't, don't discount my... Uh, Reputation. I know. I know dodgeball, and I think this guy could be the best player in the league. It's, but it's interesting too. He throws two types of balls. He has the laser, and he also has that one that just you know. And every good pitcher doesn't you. have just one pitch. You can't just right. sit on one pitch. You know, sometimes you you think you're going to get that fastball, and then he drops that curve that we saw the last game. Just dip right down and took yeah. out uh, Austin Phoenix. It start. It starts at your chest, and then ends up on your shoestrings. It's an nice amazing. block by Ryan Gimme. He says, "Give me that ball." Oh, little, little decoy kick. If you had to have, uh, if your name was two cities, would you pick Austin and Phoenix? Oh, no, I'd probably pick Austin Tempe Phoenix. and Houston. Oh. If your first name was Tempe, it'd be pretty know. bad. Uh, they're going to let him stay in. Uh, off the hands, off the face, but he's going to stay in. What if your name was Los Angeles, New York? Uh, I'd say you're pretty popular. 
if you uh, know what I mean. Yeah, it'd be pretty bad though because. Oh, what a catch by Ra, uh, Ra, um, Andrew Showalter. I'll tell you, Andrew's worked his way back here. Look at that. Heidi Miller's the last one. And... I mean, you mocked me when I called this guy the greatest player in the Dodgeball <laughs> League this year. He has fought back from 5-1 to one down. Look at him out there. He is a one-man gang. The man is unbelievable. It is Andrew Showalter. Ah, and he does it. He is amazing, folks. He is the greatest player in Dodgeball League this year. Andrew <laughs> Showalter, folks. He there he is. Takes it. Heidi Miller with the uh, catches the floater. And tell you, Hobbs... Coming back strong, as their record would prove, they are up four games to one in the dodgeball game of the week. Only on WTOB. We're back for game six between Hobbs and Super Coopers, and uh, Jed has proclaimed Andrew Showalter to be the greatest dodgeball player in Blacksburg history, and uh, he proved him right last game. Time out now. What I said was he's the best dodgeball player in the league. Not in history. Oh, yeah. Because he's got guys like Johnny Ace to live up to. Now, right. I'm not saying that he doesn't have the potential. But he's definitely, he quits right now, he's in the Hall of Fame. Is he the greatest <laughs> ever? That's not for me to say right well, now. In our three years, I would say he might be the best ever. That's because I mean, of the way, the two different th ways he throws the ball. He's still developing. We watched him a year ago, and, uh, you know, he had that fastball. We've seen tonight he's developed that curve. And here it is again, 4-1. to one. You'd think that was an advantage. But when the one is Andrew Showalter, I'm not sure, Tom, that it is an advantage. Well, we're going to see if he can do it again. If Lightning strikes twice, because he's up against uh, four Super Coopers, we'll see what he You're can right. do. Right, it's here. not like four regular Coopers. Super. These are Super Coopers. Yeah. Super Coopers. Heidi and Amelia and Eric and Ryan. No more Eric Fu. Eric Fu is going to sit down. Uh, no, not yet. No, he won't. Uh, he's going to get his licks in all here, right, I guess. Right. Andrew Showalter Andrew, is going to tell him uh, to sit yeah, down. He got. He Eric Vu says what? He's yeah, gonna, yeah, and, okay, uh, we'll gonna sit down. down. You see dropping down, little Brad Klont style. Some Virginia Tech fans remember him. Well, the hardest throwing fan. side armors in uh, Major League history. Some of you Mets fans, as uh, you see my garb, I'm uh, one of them. Some of you Mets fans oh. know Joe Smith. Heidi Miller's going to take a seat. It's down to two to versus one here. Can Five. Andrew, ladies and gentlemen, can Andrew Showalter do it again? From Eight. four to one down, now he stands two to one. He's capable, we know that. Yep. Look at that. Now, one to one. Ryan, gimme, have a seat. Here he is. One more time. Amelia. Arguably the greatest player in the dodgeball game today against the acting captain of Super Coopers, Amelia Barksdale Patterson. I don't think it's arguable. I, I, I don't know. I, I would say he is. I'll give him that time. He's cold. He's calculating. He, he has is. two different throws. I mean, he's got eyes in the back of his head. He's got great hands in terms of catching. Coordination's remarkable. Oh, oh what, a oh. what a shot. What a shot. tell you what. The man is simply amazing. Incredible. He is simply amazing, Tom Booth. Incredible. I'm, I'm not sure I've seen anything like it. You took Amelia out with a shot to the instep. Just an incredible throw there. And Hobbs takes a 5-1 to one lead here in the dodgeball game of the week. On WTOB.